They got this really cool navigational interface with this uh, multi Wii software that I got. I'm going to open it up right now. It talks to you. Initialization completed. <laughs> Have a good flight. With this software, you can go uh, and save files of your pre programmed flight patterns. And uh, it's based on like Google Maps or Bing Maps or whatever you want to use. And uh, right now, I don't have anything hooked up to it, so it's showing just a static location over in Europe. But uh, the minute you get something hooked up to it, the GPS will locate to it after you set it up right. But anyway, you can uh, locate to your locale and then put in a flight pattern. Then you can save it right here. It says save, mission, load mission. Then you can go back and load it. And if you're in that area, you'll see the, the mission in, on the software. This is a close up of downtown Toledo waterfront. The river is right there in the middle. And those are docks along here. And this is called Promenade Park. That's where I'm going to have a flight. I'm just going to set it up real quick online or on uh, cam. So, anyway, I'm going to have a place. I'm probably going to be standing like, uh, let's just say right here. Let's say this is our start and finish point. Okay, what we're going to do is go like, say right here, and you're going to add a waypoint. That's your first waypoint. So when you're standing here and you launch your copter, it's going to fly to there. Second waypoint. Add a waypoint. Okay. Let's say you want to do something silly. Uh, you want a timed uh, position hold. Let's say you want this. Let's just go with what they got. They give you 20 seconds. So right there, it'll go. It'll fly to that spot and it'll hold there for 20 seconds. And I will head over this way and add. And we'll give it a long, long flight all the way down here to the far end of the park. And then we'll hold there too. 20 seconds. So then what we're going to do is fly out over the river for a minute. Just add a waypoint. It'll get to there. And then you can make it fly to right here. Add a waypoint. And then remember we started right here. So I'm going to make it land right there. So add land here. So that's where we're landing. Now the whole thing's in there. What you want to do is go save it. Save mission. Brings up your options box. Right here's where you name your file. Let's say promenade. P R O M I N A D E promenade. So that's going to come up in the missions list now. Okay. So that's our promenade park mission. Now to really complete it, you want to go set your altitudes. Uh, let's say your first waypoint. You, only, you took off from the ground. You just want to go shoot 25 feet up to the first waypoint if it's only 10 feet away. Now, if it's 40 feet away, that's fine, but let's say it's not, it's 10 feet away. So you're going to want to take it easy on the climb rate. Let's say you're, you're going to be 10 feet by 10 feet away, or however far that is. So you go change your number. Let's say you're 15 by the next waypoint. No. You, you, you don't want to kill your copter. I mean, have it doing all kinds of screwy stuff. Let's just make this one 20. Okay. Now let's go up high for a minute. We got a long flight from 4. So we can go up real high here. Let's go, let's say uh, 50 feet. 
Okay, we went up 50 feet to that far away point down here. It says right there, altitude 50 feet. 50 meters. Oh, this is all done in meters, by the way. So, we don't want it to drop 25 feet between here and here. Between here and here. So, we're going to go to waypoint 6 and make that, let's say, 35. And then we leave the waypoint 7 at 25, and then we'll go, well, let's say 20, because uh, it's going to be quite a drop down to that landing. But let's just move the waypoint. Better yet, let's just move the waypoint. There. All right. And now, when it drops from 35 to 20, it's not so drastic, and from 20 to 0. So you want to have 0 for your landing. As I'm assuming, anyway. So, and now, as you've done all that work with the altitudes, you want to go back down, save the mission again. It'll come up. You don't want to name it again. Just go grab the one you just did. Promenade. Click it. Already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So now you have the Promenade part file. All ready to go. Created. Let's, let's, Clear the mission. Okay, now let's go back and load the mission. Load mission. Pick which mission you want to load. It'll be promenade. Open. There's the mission again. That's all there is to creating a mission. But anyway, I'm over on Ohio. I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. And let's say, let's go to Mommy Bay State Park area. That's where I have a flight pattern. Okay, so roughly right about there's Mommy Bay State Park. Now, what I'll go down, do is go down and load a mission. Brings up a file that I saved earlier because I already pre programmed this mission and uh, named it. Mommy Bay. So I'm going to open it. And there's the flight. I can zoom in on it a little bit. After I click, you'll see. Oops. Okay, there's the flight pattern right there. I take it's. Uh, I'm going to be on top of this hill. This is a big hill right here. I'm going to be up on top of there. And then uh, first waypoints here. Second waypoint. Third so forth. That's a hover point. It hovers for 20 seconds. That's what I got it set at. Then it's going to fly back around here and fly up to there. I think that's a hover point too. And it's going to land back on top of the hill. So that's uh, that's what this thing does. It's pretty cool. Damn, there was the finale. The finale of the fireworks is going off in the background, so don't worry, it's not the world is coming to an end. Um, this is uh, the actual waypoint list. And over here, what you can do is you can set your altitude. They're all set at 25 right now, and I screwed up, I didn't save it at the settings I had it at. But if you go ahead and set them all manually, just to do it, you just click. And then you go, let's say I want to start with 10 feet. This will fly down the hill and go to 10 feet. Wow, listen to those things. Man. Alarms going off outside. Wow. Cars. That's it though. That was a quick finale. Okay, anyway, okay, we're over the fireworks. You can go set these to whatever height you want. Then uh, it'll fly around at that height. It'll go up, up and down. And that's... Uh, this is the way it says waypoint 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 and then the last one says land but anyway that's how it works in order to get out of this mission and go to another one you just pull you right click and it pulls up a menu and it's got a clear mission and then it just erases everything but it's still in a file over here that you can open up at any time so I'm gonna go load another mission let's say Port mags. Okay, you can't see it on this map because we're zoomed in on Mommy Bay, but you zoom out, there it is. You can see Fort Meigs down there. 
so you can go down and zoom in on it you'll be seeing the Fort Meggs mission ballooning out this one's got a circle in it where I circle the monument down there this is it's got a function where you right click and it says create circle and then it asks you how many waypoints you want in the circle and if you want it plus, minus, plus or minus one and that tells you which way it's going to go and I don't know, it's just crazy and from what I can tell this is a multi-wee configuration screen I'm not sure if it's up to date or what but uh, I'm assuming I'm going to have to use this somehow I'm not sure how it's got something to do with setting the baud rate saving and loading ports oh no not baud rate setting ports got all these weird things it's got some kind of graph here that you can throttle pitch roll I don't know I'm not sure what it is but also uh, it records some kind of uh, testing that you do I think it's throttle testing and stuff but uh, you hit this it's not working right now oh you hit, you hit reconnect okay now we're connected but we're not really connected and then it's got us it ends up running a graph over here when there's that actual device hooked up so that's something else I'm gonna have to learn how to use right there I'm not real sure about this I'm gonna have to look this one up on the internet and see what it's all about this is part of the multi Wii software here too it's called Arduino it's not really part of the software but they use it as a compiler and a, a, a language editor or a computer editor and what you do is you uh, find your they, uh, you find all these files online this is all open source and uh, people have written it and it's you, you get the file and it's uh, it'll be a multi Wii file and you go open it in this and then you it will gives you parameters that you can operate under like uh, it gives you the config h file that's configurable parameters this is the way you go set your type of uh, aircraft up so what I did is I put define quad X and what it comes as this comes it comes with the slash slash and that's it's a, and it came there was, it was already set up for some other hex six or something down here but what I'm gonna have is a quad X setup on mine so what I do is I get rid of the two slashes and I click somewhere else in here and now we've got define quad X that means it's gonna run as a quad X uh, this all came with double slashes the whole column and you have to go online and you have to go figure out which version of the board you have and everything and anyway mine turns out to be this one so I get rid of the double the double slashes and I defined it as that now after you get done doing that you go compile it I'm compiling it right now that green line is running across and it's it, it compiles it into a sketch and after that's done Every time you open this up under that particular file, the multi Wii file, it'll have these changes in, done in it. And when you're getting ready to fly, you hit upload. You upload it to your to your uh, the flight controller, and that's your that determines how your copter is set up. There's other things you can do with it too. It has options for uh, landing lights and just you name it. You can do it with this. It's pretty much uh, configurable to your, you know, whatever you wish to have happen.